Beyond this fence lays an abandoned asylum that a YouTuber named TGF Bro and his friends badly want to explore. The inside looks like a tattered mansion on the verge of collapse. Strange noises follow them as they progress deeper into the interior of the asylum. When they get deep enough, TGF Bro pulls out a Ouija board and begins directing questions to whoever or whatever is near. If there's anybody there, please move the triangle to yes. The group hears a loud bang directly behind them, and they all take off. I noticed that the third person was off camera though, so maybe that person made the commotion and then acted scared. Then again, old asylums are supposed to be notoriously haunted, so I wouldn't be surprised if the Ouija board really did bring spirits near. If this video doesn't get your heart racing, it certainly did for this guy. His name is Daniel Stanley and he gets so pumped up that he can make his heart do this. Watch this and tell me if you know what medical condition this is called. I couldn't find much information on this person, aside from the name and his reputation for being able to make his heart race so hard, it nearly pops out of his chest. So please fill me in about his life if you happen to know more. This poltergeist is throwing a tantrum. Published by Derek Hull in February of 2021, the angsty geist is first seen slamming a door in the cameraman's face. Exhilarated that he caught it on camera, the man races to the door and opens it, finding no one inside. He runs back through, asking the poltergeist to repeat the action, but the door remains open. One of the crew enters the room while the others stand outside, watching the door. They approach and the door closes again. It isn't clear if the other crew member was inside the room. As there was a cut in the video, it doesn't seem like he exited. They apologize for angering the poltergeist and say they will leave. Alright, I'm gonna open the door and that's it. We're gonna leave, okay? Sorry for f***ing off. But that's not without one last slam. This time coming from some shutters off to the right, I assume. One time? Is this spirit moving around them, or is it all encompassing? <laughs> YouTuber Dennis of Dark Life is at it again with this video of paranormal activity in a haunted home. As he's describing what he witnessed in the home when the cameras were off, something happens while they're on. What? This, uh, like. Later, as he's speaking with the spirits, things light up. For some reason, Dennis sticks around, only to witness this. Oh, idiot. Here it is from another angle. Later, he sees something in the corner.
Не знаю, камера это увидела. Вот сейчас убираю свет. Когда убирал свет. Здесь что-то светилось в том углу. Here it is again. Is this figure what has been causing all this mayhem? I think it might be. There are demons here, and Dennis shouldn't stay around too long, lest they get attached. This dog's owner says it can see a ghost in the same hallway that they are in. It's okay. Her dog is definitely looking at something it doesn't want to go near at all. It keeps a wide distance and absolutely refuses to go past this line. Come on. Come on. Come here. Come here. Listen, when your full-grown dog is barking nervously and actually backing towards the door to get away, it's time to get the heck out of that room yourself. But at 36 seconds, the dog does kind of look over to a framed picture on the wall. Maybe it saw its own reflection in the surface and started freaking out. But that's just my guess. Gabby Licht has seen a ghost. Published in September of 2018, Gabby shares her ghost story while also showing footage she captured on camera. The scary video shows the door of her room opening and closing slightly back and forth. She also says the knob is jiggling. When I had a ghost experience, but I'll put the video here. Um, you can kind of see the handle just like wiggling back and forth, and it's kind of weird. It didn't freak me out that bad, but. It's kind of strange to have it on video. I showed my parents and it freaked my mom out, but I've had other stuff happen, so it was just kind of interesting to get that one on video. Um, but this next one, I guess. Gabby has been experiencing the paranormal for something like eight years now, and this is just one event she captured on video. Is something trying to communicate with her? It sure seems that way to me. The big question is, what is it saying? Carmen's home is more haunted than ever by the previous owner, a man who lived there for 50 years and whose spirit refuses to go away anytime soon. I've covered Carmen on this channel before, but she has sent me more video evidence and an exclusive update you'll only find on Chills. The more she communicates with the apparition in her home, the more it seems to understand her. These videos were taken on three different spirit boxes, and the same male voice talks to her each time. I'm gonna turn this off and listen, okay? I'm gonna listen. Holy. We should talk. I'm trying to talk to you. Is there a demon in my house? Can you tell me what color my shirt is? Over time, its powers grow, and it seems to feed off her energy and the attention it receives. What's your name? I am the flashlight went on. And after a while, it doesn't even need paranormal equipment to whisper to her at night. One night while opening the front door, she discovers what it is that wants her to feel such fear. A shadow figure with demon horns stands over her for a split second and then it's gone. And then there's this unexplained lights that follow her from room to room. I thought she was shining a flashlight against the wall. But look again. It starts out small at 2 minutes and 8 seconds. Then it gets in her face and goes away. At no point do you see a ray of light coming from her flashlight because she's not holding one. If this is random dust, then explain why it's popping out of the chest of this creepy doll and heading straight towards her camera. The paranormal activity seems to be growing more intense, so I'll keep you updated with new events as soon as they happen, which I'm sure they will be soon. And if you're wondering why Carmen gives the ghost so much attention, it's because ignoring it apparently puts it in a foul mood and causes even worse things to occur. Who's that, dude? <laughs>
a single strange light in the sky has a YouTuber named Jesse Table Beast looking up with curiosity and horror. Yeah, it's definitely fine, whatever it is. He and his friend decide to drive towards the strange blinking light and investigate what it could be. The still image taken at 4 minutes and 58 seconds gives us a better look at it. A disc-like object floating in the air. There's an intense light coming from the bottom and also a small circular dome on top. They don't know what it is and neither does anyone else. A minute later, they are at the source of the light, which is much larger now but still just as unexplained. They think the light is coming from a nearby power plant, but it's too dark and rainy to tell, so they go home without knowing for certain. This light, well bizarre, might be from a busted power generator, but if that were the case then you'd think the light would be low to the ground and constant. The light is high in the air. Tell me what you think it is. If you've ever been down a mine shaft, you know how eerie it can be. So imagine hearing these sounds while you're down there. YouTuber Retro Electroville published this footage in June of 2011 of a mine shaft in Del Zura, California, in the Mine Canyon area, writing, We come across an open shaft with creepy sounds coming from it. Creepy is right. I think it's, I think it's on the right. The sound is a strange hissing noise that seems to be coming from deeper within the shaft. Of course, whatever is making the creepy hiss is out of view, so we can only guess as to what the source might be. Is it a phantom? A pile of snakes? Despite knowing the true source, the sound still gives us goosebumps. There's a YouTube channel called The Zeroeth Folio of Shakespeare that posts nothing but weird Shakespearean quotes in a low, menacing voice. Somebody has been posting dozens of these videos for over a year now despite most of them having only 5 views or less. I don't really understand what these videos could possibly mean individually or when put together. All I know is that it's almost like whoever is uploading these videos is on some kind of mysterious mission with a hidden purpose that I doubt is benign. Anyway, here's where things get really weird. The right side of these videos has always shown static for the past year, but at the end of their latest video posted four months ago, the static suddenly clears and this scary event happens. I also noticed how the thumbnail for this video looks different than the others, further adding to the mystery. All of the other thumbnails show the same image of static, but this newest one clearly shows a strange looking man wearing what appears to be clothing from another time period. Take a look at the channel and let me know if you think this is just a clever gimmick or some kind of nefarious creation loaded with hidden messages. Shared by Redditor AlarmDad5309, this video looks ominous when you click on it, but you have to watch closely to see why. Did you see it? Watch again. This time, keep an eye on the shelf with the mirrors. A candle suddenly lights up and it stays lit through the remainder of the minute-long video. Is this proof of a spiritual presence? Some in the comments think so. Some think the cat is a fire starter, but I think it sees something that we cannot. Ghosts love to play games. This playful ghost was caught in a short clip by Janeth Mendoza Ponce and posted on Facebook. Ponce writes, My daughter playing outside Northside High School caught this video. Ghost or not looks creepy to me. 
Since it was only them, three there, two running and one recording, if you look closely, the figure disappears before they run around the corner. The video shows two of the girls racing towards the opposite end of the school buildings. Then suddenly a third figure appears, running perpendicular along the opposite building. As Ponce stated, the figure does seem to disappear before the girls arrive. If you watch closely, it does appear that something is behind there, and that's where the figure emerges. Many in the comments familiar with the area insist that the field house is haunted. Whether you take the skeptic's word for it or the believers, the shadow creature is here to stay. According to YouTuber Extinct File, the locals in this community say that macabre events happen inside this cursed restaurant, and when the Extinct File team visited, they weren't disappointed. As they search the place, a moan is heard. Then they happen upon this strange message. Ven esto, familia. No mames, güey. Ve eso. CJNG. I'm not sure what that could mean. As the team descends the stairs, something nearby breaks. ¿Qué pedo? A la madre, güey. ¿Qué pedo? Then they come across a mysterious object in a bucket. I really want to know what's so disturbing in that bucket that it must be censored. And as they're looking at it, they hear more noise. De algo raro ahí, güey. No, no mames. No mames. Velo tú mismo, güey. And yet another room banging is heard. La madre, güey. Algo nos aventaron, eh. And again. Buenas noches. La madre, güey. No mames. Va a ser alguien, güey. Está fuera, eh. Is something after them? La madre, güey. La madre. No, 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 no. Wey. Están por todos lados, güey. No nos quieren aquí, eh? I think it's pretty clear that ghost hunters aren't welcome here. This is the curses territory. And if you know anything about curses, you know not to mess with them. YouTuber Jossi Sandhu Official captured what he believes is a real witch on camera. First, he hears her crying. Then he sees her. Then she lets out this wail that would drive anyone away. Is this truly a witch? I think so. I've never heard something so otherworldly in my life. Demons reside in this house. Published by Spooky Gotham in May of 2022. The ghost hunter heads inside to explore and is presented with some unruly activity. While he's outside of the demon house, he hears something inside. Okay. And when he heads inside, it's made clear that he's not alone. Listen closely. Gotham continues to look around while the demons follow. He then hears what sounds like footsteps. And then, something is wailing in the distance. He finds bare footprints on the floor. They look fresh. The demons get louder. Oh. 
Should he stay? It looks like the demons are inviting him to leave. If I were him, I would heed that warning. It turns out public buses are rife with incidents of alleged possessed people. This one turned up in San Luis, Argentina on June 7, 2016. A woman sits with her eyes closed, her head rolling around at random, and her mouth opening and closing. She is jerking all over, not once opening her eyes, and a terrible sound is heard at times coming from her mouth. What she is saying, if anything, is indiscernible. She continues jerking around, looking quite possessed, until a man walks forward and shakes her shoulder, attempting to bring her back around. The man says something to her, and she shouts back in her scratchy, possessed voice. He places his hand on her forehead, and that's where the footage ends. Was he attempting an exorcism? Was he doing something more sinister? It seems we'll never know. The historic Jefferson Hotel is a hotbed for paranormal activity, and this is one of the creepiest pieces of evidence yet. Published by the hotel in March of 2021, a security camera captured this incident in one of the hotel's hallways. In the clip, a guest of the hotel is seen looking for her husband. She asks a couple walking by if they've seen him. As they're talking, a deep guttural growl is heard. They all hear it and jump back. You can see their reaction here. Well, jumped back as if something was like yelling at them down the hall. You can see they were all scared. The couple walks away while the first guest is left alone with whatever made this noise. The hotel's caretaker says that the male guest seen in this video asked him where the speaker was. The man thought the hotel was in the business of ambiance, so had hidden speakers in the floor to add to the haunting atmosphere. The problem is that he was wrong. After being asked this, the caretaker, knowing there weren't any speakers, pulled up video from a second camera at the end of the hallway in the direction of the growl. This is what he found. So, did you hear that growl? The growl sounds very animalistic, almost demonic. Is this one of the many demons that haunt the halls of the Jefferson? Or is someone playing tricks? On the other side of this fence is nothing but miles of vast wilderness. Exactly what lurks beyond this point is anyone's guess, but apparently something huge and hostile has been regularly coming into the backyard of a YouTuber named Big Dill for some reason, possibly in search of its next meal. But what happens is this creature comes up against these, this fence and it jumps this fence. And it was standing, we think, right in this where I'm standing right now. Literally two seconds later, this wild and hungry howl fills the night. I'm getting this footage, and did you just hear that? Now here's the part that's really unsettling. You probably didn't see it at first, but a pair of glowing eyes are without a doubt watching him from the trees. Maybe they were the very eyes of the beast itself, as it changes his way while making that hideous, inhuman scream. A creepy goat stands on two legs and stares ahead with beady black eyes. Reddit is trying to figure out if this is a statue, or is this a live animal trained to be as scary as possible? Its eyes kind of look expressive here at 9 seconds, and its ears somewhat move here, although that could just as easily be camera movement. Would you be able to sleep after seeing this? This video is a re-upload shared by YouTuber Randy Stover. I was unable to track down the original source. At first, the person looks as though they were perhaps jolted awake from a nightmare. Then this happens.
Something apparently paranormal is lifting them by their feet from the bed. Is this just some crazy abnormal gravitational pull? Or has something demonic entered the scene? I think this is a true case of paranormal activity. Fishing line would tear painfully into the ankles, so I don't see any other explanation for this one. While investigating the ancient Ram Inn, YouTuber After Dark Paranormal captured what they believe is paranormal activity. Watch the creepy doll sitting atop the Ouija board. Is it our Ouija board you like? Or is it the doll? Or is it one of us? The doll appears to answer dramatically. The sensory device starts flashing at the same time the doll starts to fall. Although this could be paranormal activity, the doll appears to me to be sitting precariously on the board. The tumble it takes looks like it could have been natural. The team says they tried to replicate it but couldn't. They spent over an hour trying to do so, including kicking and pushing the solid oak barrel. So I'm on the fence with this one. What do you think? An urban exploration channel called Urbex with Taffy goes investigating an underground bunker when they start to feel incredibly watched for no reason at all. They pause at the entrance to a dark room and, night vision rolling, call out to any haunting the tunnels with them. Okay, alright, so, um, is there anyone in here with us? Would you make a sound? Just make a noise? In the doorway is a shadow person who is not Taffy nor his friend, Carl. As you can see both of their shadows, it's weird that a third shadow appears as soon as they ask for a sign, but this wouldn't be too hard to fake with a third person's help. The question is whether or not it was really the two of them down there in the creepy haunted tunnel, and that's something only Carl and Taffy will know for sure. This exclusive video was submitted by a redditor named Babe of the Dead on the Chills Narrator subreddit. While lying in bed making a random video, she hears four knocks late at night. She looks up in time to see her life-sized stuffed bear apparently come to life. The bear is square against the wall with no room for anyone to sit behind and move its arm. Some people say it's a spirit. Well, one person suggested that a person could fit inside if they took out the stuffing. Which is super creepy considering Babe of the Dead has no idea who it could have been. Who do you think it was? I have no idea aside from astoundingly scary. This Area 51 video appears to capture no less than five bright lights traveling in a tight cluster. It kind of looks like the government could be testing military grade flares at first, until the lights mysteriously stop in midair, hover for a bit, and then move in the exact opposite direction. These sophisticated flight patterns seem to suggest that they are piloted by intelligent beings. At the one minute mark, all the lights grow intensely bright and almost meld into one solid form, at which point a smaller piece breaks off and moves upwards. This looks like no aircraft that has ever existed before, and as far as many are concerned, it can only be one of two options, a top secret government prototype, or else actual aliens. Laney and Ben's haunted house has turned up the intensity in recent months. Now things are levitating. Watch the lamp to the left. A little later, a cutlery drawer opens and closes in the kitchen. Then the tap turns on. You can hear the water running. It turns off and back on again. Okay. 
Shortly after, a strange, unexplained sound is heard. This is followed by some more strange noise, which sounds to me like a garbage disposal. Although all of the activity frightens me, the levitation in the beginning has me really hooked. It also has plenty of people really scared. Stay tuned for more fear. This extreme close-up of the moon captures an unknown object floating at what appears to be mere meters over the celestial body. Alexi underscore N shares this mysterious footage with the YouTube community. Can you guess what it is? In fact, it looks like something drifts down toward the moon from the floating object. Folks in the comments have some wild theories. Are extraterrestrials refueling on the moon, as some suggest? It's possible, but I think it could also be the International Space Station. Although the ISS is only 250 miles from the Earth, while the moon is 230,000 miles, in photographs, the ISS often looks much closer to the moon than it actually is. But even if it is the ISS, that doesn't really explain the object that appears to be traveling toward the moon from it. Additionally, the uploader has CGI videos on their channel. This one isn't marked as such, but there is still the possibility this is special effects. Share what you think in the comments. I'm torn on this one. A TikToker named Anna Face captures this extra eerie spider creeping around her garage that's almost as wide as the glass jar she uses to catch it. Only when she traps it and takes a closer look does she notice dozens, if not hundreds, of baby spiders crawling all over this poor host, even around its mouth and eyes. I don't know if this brood is harmlessly hitching a free ride, or if they're devouring their mother alive for nourishment, and I really don't know if I want to find out, but I guess you can tell me what's going on if you really want to. Anyway, Anna Face has mercy on the spider, and lets it out into the wild to possibly live another day. It doesn't seem to have a problem running away, so I think this was a mother spider trying to find a good place to release her young, which somehow doesn't make it any less horrifying. This video, taken from a YouTuber named Finder Lurker, is from 2005. He is certain of a paranormal entity frequenting an area of the house that no one uses, so he sets up a camera and leaves. In the beginning of the video, you can see these two small eyes in the background, which is definitely weird, but it's nothing compared to what happens next. Arms appear from all sides, and then this head pokes out from around the corner. Its eyes white pinpricks of light and nothing more. One arm stays above them as if waving hello. It quickly disappears from wherever it came from, and then the camera begins to shake, eventually becoming dislodged and toppling over. It does feel a little too set up in my opinion, but whether all of this was an actual ghost or just some kids messing around is all ultimately up to you to decide. After receiving a movement notification on her Nest camera while on vacation, Redditor Delta9Junkie found this and posted it to the ghost subreddit. Watch for the strange morphing shadows. And a moment later, this happens. It looks like a shadow mist seeps out from under the kitchen island. Although I'm at a loss, Reddit has its theories about how that type of shadow might have been cast. While I might go with the dishwasher steam theory, the Redditor says the dishwasher wouldn't have been running since they were on vacation. Others point out that you can see whatever is being reflected on the shiny cabinets as well. 
So if you're looking for the best logical explanation, an insect crawling over a light source seems to be the winner. But I don't know. I wouldn't rule out a paranormal anomaly. This clip shows a normal psychedelic filter, the electric color surrounding the girl in frame. She then turns her camera to span the room. The filter follows for a moment before becoming absent from the shot. As the room is empty, or is it? The person detecting filter appears to detect someone in the chair sitting opposite. No one is there, and yet the silhouette of a human form starts to appear in the shot in shocking black and white. It seems to be seated in the chair. The girl turns the filter back to her face, and the shocking figure follows, blending into the psychedelic filter colors around her again. Redditor HydraWrench97 is both tentative in jumping to the paranormal and rightly creeped out. She writes, Usually these Snapchat filter ghost clips are glitching and basically the camera falling for pareidolia, but this one is weird. Might just be the spookiest glitch ever, but it is very weird and would scare me if that was my living room. Maybe it sees something we don't. This giant statue was once caught in Vietnam. A huge group of villagers form a long line up a mountainside to catch a glimpse. The person hangs back and zooms in as much as their camera allows. First, they all start singing at 1 minute and 54 seconds. And by 2 minutes and 24 seconds, the giant statue has apparently come to life. Translate if you can. At 2 minutes and 33 seconds, the statue seems to extend an arm out and gently embraces the crowd. But now the cameraman is in tears as he and his family watch the stone robes become soft and weightless as they flap like angelic wings. Did her stone robes really turn into fabric, or was something put over her? I think if this was a sheet, then everyone would notice, and no one would be impressed. At 3 minutes and 58 seconds, you can see a hand just barely peek out from under the robe as it gives a modest wave. By 4 minutes and 35 seconds, the mysterious waving hand is gone. The statue has returned back to normal and does not move again. This poltergeist is cooking up something scary. A YouTuber's security camera captured his kitchen coming to life. Moments later, this happened. And then... Not satisfied with the first couple forks, the poltergeist gets one last in for good measure. I'm guessing this poltergeist is either an angry cook or that he's a foodie who's lost his appetite in the afterlife. A series of unfortunate events leads us to no answers in this video. The security footage was taken in September of 2015 at around 1 in the morning. The footage appears to be taken outside a shop after some heavy rain. Two men are standing outside, one on the pavement, one at the door. After a moment, something grabs the man standing on the pavement. Water is splashing around like the incident is happening in a puddle. The man falls to the ground and the other man near the door attempts to come to his aid, grabbing his arms. He is pushed back though and runs off toward the door to get help. The man continues to fend off the invisible force before being dragged out of sight. The man returns from inside, looking as though he's on the phone. He searches around for the man and walks toward the water. Then a large figure comes flying at him. It's not clear if it's the man returning to safety or something else. In slow motion, it looks like it's crawling on all fours. It chases the man inside, knocking the door on the way in. A moment later, a mysterious figure in a black cloak exits the building. 
What is happening here? Who grabbed that man? What gave Chase into the building? And who is this cloaked figure? Unfortunately, we are left with no answers, only questions. My dark journal is a collection of abstract videos that many people are certain contain hidden messages and deeper meanings, perhaps even clues about a woman who lost her life. The latest video, simply called Wither, starts off with a snowy lamp post and ends with a strange woman walking down the stairs. In the description is a link to a video on a completely different YouTube channel. This video, called Whisper, has images of evil looking building schematics and what appears to be some type of old language. I don't expect anyone to really be able to translate the words on that last page, but I'm hoping that someone can. Anyway, in the description box of the Whisper video is a link to yet another video on a YouTube channel called The Oracle of Lies. This third and final video is called Wayne. It shows an old desolate road and more weird imagery, including the same mysterious woman from the first video with her. I'm not sure if there are any hidden messages in any of these videos, but there certainly could be. No fourth video is linked, and the odd trifecta ends there. This could be a simple art montage, or it could be the real thing. Maybe even something from the depths of the dark web. If you are able to make sense of any of these videos, even just a single part, then please let me know what it all means. While communicating with lost souls in the witch's mirror, YouTube team Toppy's session gets dark. Nastia explains where the mirror comes from. And she begins the ritual. It sounds like something wants out of the mirror. And a shadow falls on the wall beside Nastia. The whole team comes, and through a spirit box, they ask if someone is there. After communicating with the spirits for a time, they leave a still camera in front of the mirror, and this is what they capture. What is this strange dark haze? Is it the spirit? I think it is. If I had to guess, I'd say this witch's mirror is a portal to the afterlife, one that shouldn't be tampered with. A user named Josiah Worley has some of the best paranormal evidence on TikTok of a ghost haunting his room on the attic floor. He's recording his game table after a card leaped off the deck, and soon a cup is moving by itself. Or more accurately, a ghost is moving the cup if you ask Josiah. He handles the cup immediately after and you can see there is no string. On another night, with one hand on the camera and the other hand on the mattress, Josiah watches an object move by itself. Mom? And later it crawls across the floor. Bro. Are you good, bro? Are you good, bro? Do you see any f strings? Did you guys see it move? There are no editing cuts when he walks up to the medicine bottle. This object moved on its own. This happens night after night until finally he tries to communicate with the ghost. He makes the mistake of acting annoyed, which I think ramps things up considerably. What's good? You're kind of making noises. You're kind of being really loud. It's really irritating. Okay. In my opinion, the ghost wants nothing more than to be acknowledged, but Josiah wants nothing more than to be left alone. It's a conflict that's bound to create paranormal tension in the long run. The paranormal activity doesn't stop, and so he gets in the habit of recording his room all of the time. 
It's almost sunrise. Almost sunrise. What was that? Where did that go? This ghost orb in particular curves around and appears in front of him when he wants to know what it is. The caption says maybe I should ignore it, but in my opinion that will only make things even more unpleasant for him in the long run. I think the ghost hates being ignored and is moving objects because it refuses to go unheard. I don't think it wants Josiah out of the apartment. When he says he's going to move out is when it becomes absolutely enraged. I'm gonna f end up leaving. If anything, it wants him to keep it company forever. Josiah decides to use a ghost hunting TikTok filter called the Reality Ripple to finally catch a ghost sighting on his phone camera. It isn't long before objects are moving on their own again, and the colors on his screen change to indicate a ghost is near. Do you guys hear that? No, 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 that, no, no, that doesn't make sense. No, stop. While looking at this still frame, gaze into the paranormal energy, you can see a yellow phantom figure reaching out. I've circled its head with long hair and pointed at its arm to help you better see it. The figure seems to be grabbing at the area where the object fell over. All of this creeps Josiah out badly enough to ask the ghost, point blank, to do something specific if he's safe. I got one question for you. Am I safe? If I am, then please knock over the cups. Oh, you, you saw that. A cup does not move by itself, but the ghost does push a bag off the table. This is definitely a reply, and I guess it means that he's not safe because it moves a different object than the one he asked it to. Ever since then, things have quieted down, so maybe Josiah just needed to ask for permission to live here, or maybe this strange and cryptic poltergeist is biding its time, letting him lower his guard before moving on to the next phase of his horrible haunting. A group of British ghost hunters are walking around the Wilney graveyard in search of paranormal evidence. It's late at night when they apparently find exactly what they are looking for. Pay close attention to the area between the two tombstones or you might miss it. What the f was that? The man's flashlight passes over a tall silhouette that makes him pause. It looks like it could have simply been some shadows playing against the wall, but they light up the entire area and there's no wall to be found. Let me know if you saw the strange shadowy figure and what you think it could have been. A woman is practicing a presentation while her friend films, but they both become distracted by the poltergeist in the room. TikToker Real Scary Video shares this footage. One, three, go. One, okay now. Now that I have introduced myself to the patient, um, verify the client's now that I have introduced myself to the patient, explain the procedure. First, the light flickers. Verify the client's identity and provide. Ano ba tun? Sige pa din, pasig na, sige na, sige na, sige na. Then something disturbs the closet. Now that I have introduced myself to the patient. <laughs> well, we can't see what made the noise. I'm pretty sure whatever it was lost its patience. Talk about a non-supportive ghost. Ano ito? Sige pa din, sige na, sige na, sige na, sige na. O tara, tara, tara. One, two, three, go. Now that I have introduced myself to the patient, now that I have introduced myself to the patient. For most ghost investigators, their only tool is their camera. These men, however, had other plans. Published to YouTube by Luan Mendez in December of 2019, this footage claims to capture the ghost of the girl in white. In the video, two men enter an abandoned house at night, calling out for the girl in white to reveal herself. The home and its surroundings seem empty at first, but as they wander around the house in search of the phantom, of course they find exactly what they were looking for. 
The first sighting of the girl in white is caught outside the home. They turn towards the doorway and, out in the field, the dark-haired figure dressed in a white t-shirt is standing at a distance. They scream in fear and rush towards the other side of the house. Lon manages to scrape his leg in the process. They return to the doorway where they saw the girl in white, but she's disappeared. Exploring the space more, they decide to enter a space under the home where the floorboards are missing. When one of the crew is down there, he captures the girl in white yet again, standing in the corner of the room above. <laughs> The other guy, who's on the top floor, hears his friend's cries and captures the door to the room closing at the same time. They both race outside to see if the girl in white exits the building, but she is nowhere to be found. However, when they return to investigate the room, the door starts to slam repeatedly. <laughs> This is the last straw for the investigators as they race outside and across the field, far away from the haunted place. Who can blame them? A man in India has caught some scary moments on video when this happens to him at 2.22 a.m. That could have been done with a string, but this wasn't. Tell me if you think this was real or just acting because it kind of looks like something paranormal actually might have done that to him. Scotty the NJ medium is holding a ghost hunting expedition when he thinks he hears a growling noise. He wants the ghost to reveal itself and that's when things do not go as they'd expected. What's the name of the person growling? The door opens, but what happens next is a total surprise. The spirit box says who's knocking, followed by two taps at the door. Obviously, no one is standing on the other side because you'd be able to see them easily. <laughs> Yo, are you kidding? Scotty and his team admit they're not sure if the door was latched shut or not, but they say there's no wind. I'm pretty sure I can hear wind though, so I'll turn the sound up and you tell me what you think. A YouTuber named Ponji Petualan is searching for frogs with his friends late at night along with anything else they can find. The team has their head down to look for prey, but at 21 minutes and 4 seconds, Ponji looks up for the briefest of moments and catches this bipedal creature as it sprints away from the light. It happens so fast that they don't even appear to see it at first. It appears to be a pale white and instinctively flees from the light, which makes sense for a nocturnal creature to do. It does not make a sound as it moves, despite being the size of a human and a very close distance away. Hello. Christina Carr is all alone in her old attic in New Jersey, but she feels like she is constantly being watched. She invites anything lurking in the shadows to make its presence known. Is anybody in here with me? It isn't long before she gets a response. No. Goodness. She does not hear it at the time, but the disembodied voice of an older woman timidly asks hello. The voice sounds alarmed and confused, almost like it's asking for help. Christina continues to poke around the attic asking questions until she gets another potential sign in the form of distant sirens. Store a few things, that's all. I hear some kind of alarm. Let me know if you think this alarm was just a coincidence or if you think a paranormal presence was somehow trying to warn Christina to stay away from the attic. This is purportedly the most haunted house in Guadalajara, Mexico. YouTuber Ricky Velasquez dares to enter, but he will soon regret it. As he tours the place, he spots this. Una noche loca. Las personas que estuvieron en esa transmisión. Perro, ¿qué es eso? No mames. Did you see that figure? 
As he continues throughout the home, it seems to be stalking him. Wait, wait. Quien eres? Wherever he goes, it follows. Pues muéstrate, no seas cobarde. Muéstrate, muéstrate, muéstrate. A la bestia, no mames. No, 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 tranquilo, tranquilo, tranquilo. Is someone there? Ricky keeps hearing noises, like someone is just out of sight. Entrado sobre esto? No, no manches. ¿Qué fue eso? After hearing humming during a spirit box session, things get wild. No, 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 no. Whoa. No, 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 no. I think this home is definitely haunted, but by what? I'm not so sure. A boy records the scenic view outside of his window, as passengers often do. When he looks up to record an oncoming plane, he accidentally picks up a fast-moving disc-like object traveling in the opposite direction. Looking at it frame by frame, the small flat rectangle is abnormal and does not change shape or gain detail as it moves across the screen. It's definitely not wildlife, and it's too small to be a drone, not to mention up way too high. So what could it be, aside from the possible UFO? Others have pointed out that the trail left behind by the other plane looks odd as well. I think it looks like normal vapor trails created by engine exhaust, but I could be wrong. Does it look suspicious to you? And do you think these two events, the UFO and the other plane, could somehow be related? It's 3am, and something is terrifying YouTuber Mo Sarji at this haunted cabin in the woods. Let's see what it is. Mo seems to be sensing a spirit around them. Is it weird that my ears, my left ear is ringing like crazy right now? Well, they say that's a sign of spirit around you. Then they see a light in a nearby building. It shouldn't be on. There you go. You can see that the light in the mill is on right now. That should be off. Holy shit. There's something causing it to stay on. A moment later, this happens. Which is... Oh, oh, oh. I just seen it. What the Dude. Dude. I got it on camera. Did you? Yeah. It's motion activated, so something must be inside. They arrive at this creepy haunted cabin, isolated in the middle of the woods. Oh, look, there it is. Oh, nice. Is that it? Oh, yeah, that's I it. Know, I so. Whoa, it's even creepier at nighttime. As soon as they're near it, they get a reading on their K2. Whoa. Oh. That's a lot. Yeah. Okay, we got something here. Let's go inside and check this out. Once inside, they discover something horrifying. So here's what I'm thinking. Yeah. I'm thinking the shack itself isn't what's haunted. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking someone who ever nailed the roof in here, or the wood, did some type of black magic. Like put a type of nail in here. Is Mo's theory correct? Is this a dark magic shack? From the outside looking in, it appears so. It's not here now. Oh wait, it's back. Yeah, right. No, on on the other side. Jesus. Yeah, there's big bugs out there. <laughs> so it, many. It's gone now. Now it's mapping out Angelo. When the team asks the spirit if it's there, it responds via REM pod. John, is that you? I'm feeling very fatigued all of a sudden. Mm. That went to green. It's amazing how this is responding to the comments you guys are making. Yeah. Yeah, because you were like, John, is that you? And it, again. Sean is here. I do believe the team is being followed by something. But is it Sean? It could be anyone. Bob Osborne flies down a bumpy mountainous road in Bolivia with little concern for his health or safety. The seven minute downhill race is filled with large rocks like this one. He navigates the obstacle just in time. Look how slow this van is driving. 
That's the appropriate speed for such a treacherous road, yet it's quickly passed. Keep in mind this vehicle could easily kick a rock straight into their dirt bike at any time and send them careening to their doom. They eventually make it to the bottom of the mountain still in one piece. I just hope Bob Osborne performs regular maintenance on his bike because this looks like the type of road that could snap a tire clean off at any time. YouTube team Greg and Heather's Explorations returns to the Townsend Cemetery where they once held hands with a spirit. Will he hold their hand again? They begin with an EVP session. Do you sneak peek at her EVP I session? I Patty. Oh my god. Do you remember me from last time? As they're examining the grave of a Confederate soldier, they hear a distant sound. It was like a Confederate soldier. Something. He was a, a, a high up in the ranks. But what is that noise? You hear that? What is it? Oh, yeah. They then discover what that sound is. Is that the water zone? Wait, Whoa! Wait. That wait was not just someone. No. Oh my! You've been saying that you felt like somebody was over yes. here messing with you. Is someone pranking them? And is the prankster living or a spirit? When they turn their ghost tube app on, they see figures all over the place. Hello? Oh! Oh! Wow! Look right there! Right in front of you. Wow! Hi! We see you. Was that you that just set this meter off? And later, they try to convince the spirit to hold hands again, this time with Patty. Where did you go? Oh, there you are. Can you do that again? Yep, he's right next to you, to the left of you, yeah. Can you reach out and touch her hand like you But the spirit is reluctant. Heather believes the spirit is a child since it's down low. I tend to agree. That might also suggest its hesitancy to reach out and it might explain the trickery with the faucet being turned on. This child ghost is playing games. Is this ER haunted by the dearly departed? TikToker Lucy Trevilian thinks so. They've posted the security camera footage as proof. Watch the curtain in the background. It blows around, moving as though someone touched it. According to the TikToker, this happened at around 5 in the morning. Nobody was there, and there are no air vents near the curtain. Judging by everyone's reaction, this is an anomaly. If we are to trust the TikToker that no air vents might have caused this, I think it's safe to say that the spirits did. After all, hospitals are regular havens of lost souls. Lexworth Village used to be a collection of 130 mental asylums built two hours from Brooklyn, a place where unwanted people in the early 1900s New York were taken to be forgotten, never to be visited, never to be removed. Atrocities were inflicted daily upon patients unable to make sense of what was happening to them or to defend against it. With a ratio of three nurses to every 80 patients, there simply wasn't enough staff to keep everyone well fed or even alive. Mealtimes were a mad scramble in which a handful of nurses had to shovel food down patients' throats often against their will. Some didn't survive. Their bodies were branded with a number and taken to a cemetery in a nearby forest. Lechtworth Village did not shut down until 1996, 85 years of suffering total. Now after 100 years after its creation, the 130 building mega asylum has rotted down to only a few of the most haunted sites left standing. Areas full of activity that a paranormal explorer named Angelo wants to document. On March 2nd of 2020, Exploring with Angelo enters one of the only buildings left standing. Shadow figures watch from a distance as they cautiously make their way through. Apparitions who are there one moment and gone the next. And it isn't until they begin walking up the stairs that the creepy noises begin. Sounds like doors opening while both of them are standing in place. Oh. 
That makes me want to house in the war. That makes me want to house in the war. Or this low croak right behind them at 4 minutes and 46 seconds. That's weird. Or when they get to the top and find the doors wide open leading into the dark forest. So if this door is already open, then explain this. Why these things are all made of metal? It's supposed to a road. The door somehow creaks open without moving. It sounds like it's being pulled open from straight ahead and yet nothing is there. Here's the door at 5 minutes and 6 seconds when the sound happens. And here it is again at 5 minutes and 50 seconds after the sound. It's open at the exact same angle down to the degree. They didn't touch it. They step through and turn around to look at the door from outside. They turn out their light to see if they pick up anything. Sure enough, these two beady eyes reflect on the wall despite there being no lights of theirs turned on. At 6 minutes and 25 seconds, they hear and see something jump across the camera. When they turn their lights back on, it's gone. They explore a few other rooms and when they retrace their steps, the phantom doorway opens once more. I just heard it again. I heard it too. Whatever, just keep going. The top floor is filled with hospital beds. Look what appears right as they ask a simple question out loud. People claim they see in this place. Shadows. A glowing circle floats by in response and soon a bad feeling rushes them off of this floor. But as they are leaving, they hear this noise coming from a different building, one deeper in the forest. That's what we've been hearing. That's what we've been hearing, but that's coming from the forest. Angelo is walking towards the noise when it becomes evident that they are surrounded. What? what? They are looking one way when a hiss comes from the opposite direction. What is that? I don't know. Oh, what the f was that? Up ahead is another asylum building and more voices. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. That's where the noise is coming from and this large white sideways face peering at them from inside. As they walk around the perimeter, all of the commotion strangely stops. The forest is as silent as can be, but as soon as they enter the building, they hear the noise again. Something is playing with their mind. Inside is little more than room after room of decaying white wallpaper. When they reach the end of the hall, they hear heavy footsteps from where they just were. This sounds like real fear to me. I don't know. At first, they try to determine where the footsteps are coming from, but this is the moment they need to get out of there fast. Ever since we got here. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. They face their fears long enough to stop and turn around one last time to confirm they were really being followed. Anything there? I'd say it's pretty clear that they were. This video of a speedy silhouette looks like it has to be in fast forward, but as the timestamp shows, it somehow manages to cross the room in less than one second. I can only assume that this shadow person has been seen at least once before, hence the bedside camera. Notice how all of its features remain blacked out despite there being plenty of natural light. What's particularly worrisome is how it clears the room in an instant and then comes back into the frame to linger by their bedpost some more. Apparently, the two seem to share a mutual fascination. What should have been a fun day at the zoo quickly becomes a nightmarish scenario when a child named Timmy finds himself wedged in the folds of an elephant statue by the leg. Timmy's leg is stuck in the elephant under elephant. First, the YouTubers try to handle the situation themselves without any help. Move this leg. It just Get stuck even more. Soon, zoo officials notice the commotion and try their best to assist. 
When that fails, Timmy knows the situation is getting serious. A team of rescue workers arrive almost 20 minutes into the whole ordeal. By now, Timmy is distressed and I feel pretty bad for him. I also don't see any signs warning to stay off of this elephant statue. So if anything happens to him, the zoo could be in a lot of trouble. Eventually, they are able to pry the trunk up long enough to remove the scared child and spare the statue. Timmy now has to go to the hospital to get checked on, but as far as I know, everything is okay with his leg in the long run. I'm curious to find out if you think the zoo should be held responsible for the hospital bills based on what you've seen. Alright guys, I'm going to show you one of the reasons we hate this house. There's a YouTuber named Not Your Average Wife who apparently does not live in your average home either. Her dog Catherine absolutely refuses to go down the steps leading to their basement. Follow the dog's eyes because I think it might be seeing something down there that none of us can. Catherine, come on baby. Come on pretty. Come on baby. Come Not even a nudge from behind can convince Catherine to go down the stairs. Come on Catherine. And just to prove it's not a general fear of steps, they show her using different stairs without a problem. Maybe the dog almost fell down basement steps or something and is now afraid of them. At least, that's the only non-paranormal explanation I can think of. And if it is paranormal, based on how Catherine is acting, it must be something sinister in that basement. Something is haunting the lobby of England's Brighton Museum, according to those who work there. This creepy moment caught on CCTV video at 3 a.m. could be the paranormal proof they need to be taken seriously. The camera captures a bright light and then a souvenir mysteriously falls to the ground with no one near. Kind of like a ghost moved the object employees would later say. I think the quote unquote mysterious light could be a glass object reflecting light as it falls over. Maybe the shelf is a little unlevel. Maybe an employee or a visitor put it too close to the edge. I am 50-50 on this one and we'll be sure to keep an eye out for other paranormal events caught on camera at this possibly haunted museum. This scary highway encounter would have easily gone unnoticed forever, if not for a dash cam recording. Pay attention to the bottom right and you'll see a blurry figure slip under the car in a matter of seconds. Pause the video and you'll see the undeniable outline of a girl from the waist up. She appears to be wearing a white dress and staring ahead with a gray face. I guess this could be light reflecting off of the pavement, but this also really does look like the outline of a person who was once living. Maybe every so often they appear in the exact same location where they sadly lost their life years ago. This strange knocking happens at the same time every night and no other times during the day. 2 in the morning. This is definitely no animal. Whoever is knocking wants to make its presence known and apparently wants to get in now, immediately. I can also hear a strange paranormal voice before they knock during this part. I don't think it's the television because you don't hear it during any other part of the video. He shows us the outside of the trailer, and clearly nothing is out of the ordinary. Yet when he returns indoors, so does the knocking from outside. Five minutes has been doing it. Hopefully whatever this is never gets the idea to try the door. This doll looks innocent enough, but is it? Molly, also known as Akka, is pure evil. Here is proof. The conversation starts out simple. One of the objects I've put near your vessel. Thank you. Thank you, Molly. When the paranormal investigator presses further, she receives a confirmation. Molly, can you just confirm that this is you? Yeah. I think she also reveals her true feelings. Are you negative and grumpy? No. Are you misunderstood? Thank you. 
And then the question we'd really like to know the answer to... Do you wish to harm anyone in this house? Yes. But Molly doesn't just want to harm anyone. She's got a specific person in mind. Do you wish to harm my son, Sam? Yes. It's probably time to take your son, Sam, and get out of Dodge. Hungry for a midnight snack? This video will get you over your nighttime hunger. Published to YouTube in August of 2020, Paranormal Nightmares explains, My husband got up to grab a bowl of cereal, and we had the security cam recording in our kitchen because earlier in the day a cupboard opened on its own. We decided to record overnight, but this happened and it scared him. In the video, the dude is nonchalantly making himself a bowl of cereal as mentioned, but when he goes to grab the milk from the fridge, the cereal box moves clear across the counter on its own. Surprised, the man brushes it off, but as he pours his milk, the box moves slightly, and when he returns to the fridge, it slides clear across the counter again, finally falling to the floor. Needless to say, this guy takes this as his cue to book it out of the kitchen. Many YouTubers advise this poor haunted couple to move, while others are more worried about whether or not the guy eventually got his cereal, because you know, priorities. This ghost hunter crosses into haunted territory with only his faith and a camera. Caught on tape is a giant unknown creature that does some really scary things. 11 minutes and 28 seconds is when they notice the shine of its eyes. Next. Yeah, 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 the kid lags like they are. Come break it. Yeah, the kid. Oh, for love. They got a guard. Yeah, lying on the roof is something much larger than them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love what you think. I stuff for a UK. Yeah, rain. Oh, mom, we're not. Mom, we're not. Oh, love. It's a ring, ring. A mysterious figure peeks from the window. Watchful eyes retreat down the roof as they approach. Footsteps turn them around, but nothing's there, and when they turn back, the figure is in the window again, along with the creature above. What is this bizarre thing looking at them from the doorway, and is it paranormal? I think it could be. Something is active in this quiet home. Published by Memoria Sobernatural Inc. in April of 2022, the paranormal investigator searches this haunted place, and it seems like an unknown entity is searching him right back. And then the entity grows aggressive after coming across stacked chairs in one of the rooms. They collapse before the man's very eyes. He then witnesses a faucet turn on by itself. It flows full blast. As the ghost hunter tries to catch some sleep, what looks like a mattress falls against the wall. Later, he encounters this shadow figure in the hallway, and then another lurking in the corner of a room. Is something hiding in this curtain behind him? Before you start to panic, nah, just go ahead and panic. It's the time for it. a witch or a siren shared by YouTuber Fate Decided and originally reposted on TikTok by LAIKACL. This scary video follows a group of people who come across this strange woman in the woods. At first, they keep their distance, but then one of them gets closer and tries to address her. Yeah. 
Okay. She ignores them, but then... The woman's head turns around uncannily as she lets out that terrifying shriek. And as they run away, she appears to be crawling out of the ground. I feel that this is real, but I'm on the fence about whether she's a siren or some other demonic witch. What do you think is going on here? Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.